Okay, guys, so for this part two of our video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can configure and add your domains and, of course, um, configuring it with your web host. So first, what I need you to do is go to Transactional, click Settings, and go to Configuration. And just scroll it down and you can see this get your SMTP key. It will direct you to another page which you need to click on senders and IPs. Next is that we're gonna go to domains and add a new domain. All right, so you're going to see this little page right here. So what I need you to do is to log in your web hosting. So in my case, I'm using Ionos for my web host. So once you're already on your web host, then just go to your domains and SSL settings and then click through DNS. Now you might want to go back to send in blue. And as you can see, there are three different types of verification method. Now what I need you to do is to click on add a DNS entry. Now I will ask you to copy like this little code right here. Go to your web host, add a record, which is in this case, it's asking you to create a TXT record. Now just leave the host name blank and then paste the value or the one that you copied in sun and blue to the value and then just click save. Now make sure that this gives you like a little note right here that the TXT record has been successfully created. Go back to sun and blue and make sure to verify it. And right after you verified it, it should be showing you that it is configured. And next, just click on I'm done. All right, so here's the fun part. So it doesn't end right just here. We have to click on Manage and then Authenticate this domain. So do not get too overwhelmed with this one because it's going to be easy and I'm going to walk you through this like step by step. So just like what we did uh, with setting up your domain, so still we're gonna use this um, DNS or adding record to your DNS. So first step would be setting a text or creating a TXT record. So just go back to your web host, add a record, copy this code again, create a TXT. type in or paste in the value you have copied. And then you have to make sure that we copy this one, the mail dot underscore domain key, just right just before your domain and paste it in the host name. So you might want to double check that it um, the information that you see here should be matching the one that that's in here. So once you're done, just click save. Go back to send in blue and make sure to verify it. Now you should see that this one is configured. So now let's go on with the next step. So again, still we're going to be adding a TXT record, TXT SPF. So just copy this one. Go back to your web host, add a record, and this time around, make sure that it's going to be TXT SPF. Just type or paste in the value, and then for the host name, just 
leave it as it is and then just click save. One successfully created, go back to this page and make sure to verify it. Now you should see that it's already configured again. Now with this uh, step three, since we're already done uh, setting a TXT record for the domain, all we need to do is jump to step four, which is again creating another TXT record. Paste it in here. And for the host name, go ahead and copy this one, the underscore dmark and then put it in the host name so again you might want to double check if it's giving you the same information on your dns settings and then here in send in blue click save and once save verify it again all right so we have all of this four settings that are configured so just click I'm done all right so we have finished authenticating your domain and configuring everything so yay you're good to go